Hello everyone, I'm Li Hejun and I'm currently uh, studying at Curtin Singapore, a uh, major in logistics and supply chain management. My student ID is 20528579. During this semester, I have taken the course Enhance Your Business Math. I have a deeper understanding of a series of communication skills and uh, communication problems in daily work and life. So I now use this speech to share the work skills I learned in this course, as well as my future career planning and re-understand and summarize myself. So the first part is about a reflection on the employability tools. Uh, according to my analyze by the employee analyze tool, I found that I was most confident in the seven, seven areas of learning literates and ISTQ literates. Secondly, in uh, core literates and uh, reticle uh, literates, but a little less confident in digital literates and uh, career literates. Further, uh, my employability report shows that my career study commitment is several lacking, and the communication skills and the leadership orientation are also somewhat weak. On the bright side, my uh, teamwork competence. Uh, problem solving and decision making, academics of efficacy and uh, learning mid are outstanding. The employment tools has shown me that I am lacking in self awareness, communication, and leadership with others, and that my core and digital literacy uh, is not very strong. These tools has made me realize that I should strengthen my math and communication skills at work. It also has made me realize that I should learn more about my career strengths and challenges, uh, how my studies related to my future career, and through which I can enhance my core literacy and, uh, on the other hand, develop my communica communication skills and leadership by meeting new people, developing more elevator speech, and uh, participating uh, in more volunteer activities. Finally, uh, I can increase my digital literacy by increasing the use of more digital te technology in my daily life. And uh, this part is about a reflection upon my time in Enhance Your Business Math. One of the most impress impressive units in this unit uh, course was Unit 10, Unconscious Basis, in which the teacher asked us to find out whether we had unconscious basis through an activity that allowed us to clarify the occupation of people of different skin colors and an online text activity. Uh, Self-reflection in this lesson, I realized that I had some unconscious basis when dealing with people of different skin color as the class continued with the completion of the test and the teacher summarized and categorization, I finally I uh, realized that I had this phenomenon and learned that this situation can have many negative effects, such as not going, uh, getting along with my classmates, not being able to cooperate with my colleagues in my future job, and uh, that there may be more unconscious basis in society uh, that affects society harmony. Uh, as I realized these problems, I decided to pay attention to this problem first and then to solve it step by step. So I start to look for new materials of different countries around the world to increase my knowledge about people of different colors and countries, hoping to eliminate these problems. Secondly, I decided to learn more about different countries at school and become friend with them. At the end of the semester, I managed to become good friends with many students from different countries, and I felt that my unconscious basis were eliminated after interacting with them, so I benefit from this uh, this lesson. Uh, and the next part is about a reflection upon, upon my time at university. In my university life, I chose logistics <coughs> and supply chain, as my major, and I think I chose the right major for me. After studying in the university, I gradually learned about the supply chain industry and learned a lot of related knowledge, so I understand more clearly how I should work in this industry and further study. 
I think my university life is very enriching and rewarding. After these two years of study, I not only mastered a lot of professional knowledge, but also become friends with students from different countries, which open up my, my eyes and make me think uh, more globally and have a deeper understanding of myself. As my undergraduate life is coming to an end, I decided to work in the supply chain industry for a period of time. And after I have acquired a certain amount of work skills, uh, I will decide whether I want to pursue further studies such as postgraduate or other stu uh, study program. Uh, and I also have uh, some career, my career plans. Uh, so the first, uh, my plan A is to participate in work. So first I will uh, find a recruiting companies online and uh, next I will apply for jobs that match my own skills and experience, try to choose a job that is close to my place of residence and try to apply for a job within my ability. Uh, the, third, <coughs> the third is when submitting my application, try to talk to my potential suppliers and ask them for some information about the position and the special job duties, uh, like to show my interest in this position. Uh, and fourth, uh, fourth step is uh, preparing in advance for some of the question maybe ask and do not uh, and do some research on the target company to ensure that there are no awkward situations when conducting interviews and uh, conversations. Uh, the fifth is contracting the public sector in my city, such as the employment department and ask them for advice. Uh, and uh, the, uh, the last move is to use a standard resume template to create a resume of my own satellite linking some of my own experience to the job I'm applying for and then check for <coughs> for my resume again. Uh, and uh, in the plan B, I choose to continue master of degree. So the first step, I will combine my own situation and search online which school's logistics supply chain program is suitable for me, understand the digital of the school in all aspects and choose the school I like. Uh, uh, next, I will go to the school's website and find a study about teacher to fill out an application for myself and submit it to the school of my choice. And uh, the third, third is attending a tutorial class to study postgraduate reality, the course in advance and sort out the knowledge points that I'm going to attend the participate in so that I can perfectly connect uh, with the postgraduate course. Uh, and the la last move uh, for the plan B, I will communicating with the admissions officer, office of the target graduate school to learn about the training phase of the overall environment of the school and other economic and environmental issues. And I also have a message to my future, to, to my future. I hope to see to myself in the next five years. I hope you can successfully find a, a stable job or successful graduate from graduate school. I hope you will feel at that time that you have gained, gained a lot in the past five years and have no waste time. And at that point in the time, will feel that you are relatively successful no matter uh, what decision you made, uh, you will not regret it, go forward. And in summary, uh, overall, uh, this presentation focused on the employability tools analyzed to get my difference in communication, leaderships, digital literacy, and uh, core literacy. On the other hand, the course enhanced in mind made me realize that I have some unconscious basis and I decided to address this by making friends from different parts of the world. Second, after reviewing the two years of university life, I become more interested in my major in logistics and supply chain and remember how good my time at university was and then made two future plans for myself.
Uh, hoping that I will always be motivated and stay motivated.